What's up, you guys? It is Gemini Deskine team coming out with a fourth and second last, uh, third last actually unboxing for the airport. Oh, dang. Sorry about that, you guys. The LL logo just decided to slide on me. Anyway, this is my LL737 900ER. And just by, so you know, um, all the planes I'm unboxing tonight are all new releases except the Monarch A320. Uh, and my next airplane, uh, KLM A330. And the uh, Delta 747. But other than that, all of the aircraft are new models. Uh, this aircraft was received to me in May because this was a May release, uh, April May release. So, yeah, I really liked it, and I needed to open up my um, extensive network. Uh, not extensive network, but I needed to open up a short network to uh, Asia. So this service is Tel Aviv via Rome. I'll read it to you very quickly as my airport, my camera is dying out again. In the early 1990s, Boeing worked, worked on the designing an aircraft that would replace their older models of its popular 737 jetliner. On the 26th of June 1993, Boeing launched the 737X program from receiving an order from Southwest Airlines for 63 copies. This aircraft resulted in the 737 Next Generation 737NG family of aircraft and would operate four different variants, the 600, 700, 800, and 900. The next generation 737s incorporated in a larger wing, more powerful engines, and capable of flying longer range routes with higher payloads than the older 737 models. The 737-700 was the first variant to enter production and delivered to Southwest Airlines in December of 1997. On the 5th of September 1994, the 800 was launched and was delivered to Hapik Lloyd of Germany in the spring of 1998. The 800 is a longer version of the 700 and carry up to 189 passengers in single class. Scandinavian Airlines became the launch customer of the 737-600, the smallest of the next generation family, seating 110 to 132 passengers. The first family was launched in the 737-900 uh, 737 was the longest version and also introduced the 737-900 extended range, which offers greater range with a higher payload capacity. Today, many of the next generation 737s incorporate bladed, blended winglets, which help increase lift, drag, and reduce fuel consumption and engine wear. Sorry, you guys, I'm rushing so much, but I don't want this to die out on me. I wanna at least finish the KLM tonight, and then I'll do a special unboxing tomorrow. So this is the LLM. Uh, what I like about the 737 900, uh, I, I, and this model, I really like how Gemini Jets, like, not Gemini Jets, but I, I just really like the colors of this aircraft. Um, it's really nice, so I really hope you like this video, and please rate, comment, and subscribe. Gemini Jets Sky Team, out!